Now then, crisps, chocolates and fizzy drinks should be banned from hospitals to fight Britain's obesity crisis. Doctors from the Academy of Medical Royal Colleges say that foods loaded with sugar, salt and trans fats are too easily available. They blame irresponsible marketing for making the problem worse. And they want the British Medical Association to vote for health risks to be displayed on NHS vending machines. What's happened is um, the high street, the environment in the high street has now hijacked, if you like, the hospital food environment. Patients are served um, foods that are nutritionally poor, that are high in sugar, salt and trans fats. Um, we also know nutritionally poor food that's served to them in meals also delays their recovery and lengthens hospital stay. 50% of NHS staff are now also struggling with weight, they're overweight or obese. And we know that many hospitals have thousands of visitors that come through their corridors on a weekly basis. So actually what's happening is we're legitimising the acceptability of junk food. Well, let's get the view of Matt T. He's the Chief Operating Officer of the NHS Confederation. He joins us now live from central London. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, does it make sense? Hospitals are all about making people healthy. Does it make sense then to have unhealthy junk food available in them? Well, let's firstly put this in some perspective. If what the Association of Medical Royal Colleges and the BMA want to do is to address the problem of obesity, which we think is a really serious issue, then there are a significant number of things that you would do before you start looking at the provision of food uh, in, in hospitals. So, you know, if we're going to tackle the problem of obesity, which we want to help uh, society in tackling, then let's have a sensible conversation about how we prioritise how we set about dealing with this issue, which I think probably means means that food in hospitals is not the target priority area. OK, not a priority, but is it something that should be considered? I mean, the accusation is that the NHS is inadvertently fueling the obesity crisis. So I think there's uh, some balancing issues that need to be taken into account here. Yes, we want people to eat healthy diets, and of course, uh, you know, in terms of labelling of food and all the rest of it, that's, that's an important thing, and uh, we, we want people to be able to make healthy choices. But the second thing to think about, I think, is that in hospital, you get people there who are going through sometimes really quite distressing experiences, whether you're a visitor or you're a patient to, to going into hospital. One of the things that helps them get through that, and we know this from talking to patients and to carers, is that hospital has some areas which are familiar to them. And one of the things that are familiar to them is the big brands that they see on the high street. And actually, all of this is about doing things in proportion and doing things moderately. If the thing, when you've got a break from seeing your mum on an intensive care unit, if the thing that helps you to feel that the world's just a little bit more normal is a chocolate bar that you might eat occasionally or, uh, you know, a burger or whatever, if that's the thing that makes you feel the world just a little bit normal, just a little bit you know, better, then in moderation, you know, that can be no bad thing. And I wouldn't want to get to a position where hospitals felt like they were sterile, artificial uh, environments in which you weren't able to see any of those familiar things. Yes, of course, we want people to make healthy choices, but the choice should still be there. Well, yes, you say people want to make healthy jo choices, but th the critics are saying, of course, that you need to send out a message that junk food is bad for your health. And if you've got hospitals being home to uh, junk food vending machines as well as uh, fast food outlets as well, you're subconsciously legitimising bad eating habits. No, I think where we need to be very careful here is in saying that you should never eat a bar of chocolate or have a portion of chips because sometimes those things are a nice treat to have. Of course, you don't want to do that day in, day out. And the really important thing in hospitals is that there is a plurality. We would never want to be in a position where the only choice for you, if you're a visitor to a hospital, would be to have a burger with fries. There's got to be a chance to choose across a range of options. And, you know, if I go into St Thomas's, which is my nearest hospital now, as I walk in, you get a welcoming reception, and as I move through the hospital, there's what you would call a food court with nice seating areas where there is a multiplicity of choice about what I can eat. Some of the choice might not be as healthy as we might hope that people would eat, but there are really healthy options as well, and that's the sort of place we want to be, where there's a plurality of choice and where we are educating and encouraging people to eat healthily, but we recognise that they may choose occasionally to have a treat which isn't the most healthy thing ever. Is this about money? Is this about the NHS putting profits ahead of health? 
No, it's absolutely not about putting profits ahead of health. Yes, of course, the sort of income that uh, you know, our members, hospitals get from uh, having uh, outlets on, uh, in hospital premises is, is a welcome piece of income. But in the general scale of a hospital's income, it's a very small beer. This is not the driver for it. What we're looking for is to create an environment in which patients and their carers are able to come and it feels a bit normal. Hospitals can be very abnormal places. Things happen to people in hospitals. They go through serious operations. You know, sometimes people die in hospitals because you know that's the nature of, of the business. The more that we can make part of a hospital just feel a little bit more normal, give people the choices about what they eat, have familiar brands there, the more that we are doing what our patients and carers tell us they would like us to do in the hospital environment. Okay, Matt T, Chief Operating Officer of the NHS Confederation. Thanks very much indeed for your time.